Hello, Jay the Shark here. So, today, I'm not at the Five Star Marine Towers. No, no, no. I haven't even left my house. I'm on the rooftop of my apartment because I'm working from home. I say working, I'm doing the little video for you. So today, I'm gonna to be smoking some fish, but before I smoke some fish, very exciting by the way, uh, just like and subscribe. Can you like and subscribe? Go on, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. And while I go and get the smoker ready, you guys can go and look at my view. It's up there, have fun. Right, charcoal's on. That's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour to get to how we want it, which is nice and white. And while we're waiting for that, we've got work to do. Oh look, this is my apartment. So, I need to get the smoker ready, and I need to head in there and get the fish. Cool, let's do it. Smoking fish, baby. Not a bad place to smoke fish, is it, look? Hope the neighbors don't mind. So, the charcoal's outside, that's just getting nice and white. Hot, baby. And so we're gonna get the fish out, which has been brining all night. So it's been browning for about 12 hours. Um, hold on. Let's take you back. We'll do it one of those things where the clocks start going back and everything, and you can see how I did the brining process. Ready, go. <laughs> Hello, thank you, Future J. So, before we put the fish on the smoker, which Future J is gonna do very, very soon, we need to brine it overnight. And before we brine it overnight, we need to make the brine. So, um, this is me making the brine. So, first things first, when we're smoking fish, is to make a brine. So we need to brine the fish overnight. In my brine, I've got some sea salt. I'm gonna have some black peppercorn. I've got some brown sugar, garlic, and pineapple juice. And we're gonna put all of that into this pot of water, put this on the stove. We're gonna let it boil up so the salt and the sugar dissolve, and then we're gonna let it cool down, and then we're gonna brine our fish overnight, ready for smoking tomorrow. I'll put the recipe in the link for you so you know what the recipe I use. Now there's hundreds and thousands of different recipes. It's like cookie recipes, there's so many different ones. This is the one that works for me. Simple, easy, job done, get it brined overnight, Bob's your uncle, Sally's your aunt, smoking fish tomorrow, baby. Right, gonna get going. Chop up the garlic. Done. Salt in. Sugar in. Peppercorns in. Pineapple juice in. Garlic. In. Put on the stove. Stir. Heat. Wait till boil. Brine. Boiling. Final stir. Salt. Sugar. Dissolved. Take off heat. Leave to cool. There you go. That's how you make brine. Uh, as I said, there's loads of different brining recipes. Play around, um, or don't play around. Up to you, really. Follow my recipe, it's really simple. So, let's get the brine out. So I generally put the brine in the fridge. The reason I put it in the fridge, that brings the temperature right down. So then when you brine them, there's no temperature of the brine whatsoever, so you're not cooking them in any way, shape, or form. So that is fridge temperature, otherwise known as brrr, cold. Next up, mackerel. So, mackerel, already filleted, heads off, all the gunky stuff out, nice and ready to go. Let me grab the camera, here we go. So, there's my lovely mackerel, all ready to go, and there's my brine, ready to go. Mackerel, brine, mackerel, brine, me, right. Now, I need a very special brining pan. It's the most, it's very expensive. It's not really, it's Tupperware. That's all you need. Cheeky bit of Tupperware. 
job done. I'm going to put the mackerel in the Tupperware, I'm going to put the brine on top of the mackerel. I'm going to make sure it's all pushed down. If it floats up, you can push it down with a plate or something like that, just so the mackerel sits underneath the brine. Put it in the fridge overnight and it'll be ready for future Jay to smoke in a minute or so, well, whenever he does it, to be fair. All right, you want to see this bit? Okay, hold on, I'll put the camera on and you can see it. Two seconds. Right, there's my mackerel. There's my very special brining tray. So I'm just gonna put the mackerel in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That done, brine on top. Whoa, here comes the good bits. There you go. So, and that's it. I'm gonna put that in the fridge overnight, and then that'll be ready for future Jay to smoke. Good job, past Jay. Now, over to future Jay. There you go. That was my past self doing the brining. So, and get the fish out. So, there you go, that's the fish brine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the fish out of the brine, we're gonna clean it off in cold water, we're gonna dry it off with some paper towel, lots of paper towel, and then we're gonna leave that back in the fridge for an hour so that can settle down, ready for the smoker. Cool? Good. Right, I'll do that. Look out my window. Nice, isn't it? My little garden. I'll explain that later. Right, fish ready. Pat dry, put back in the fridge. Good. This. Fridge. Hello. So, fish in the fridge. We cleaned it off with fresh water. Gonna leave that for an hour just to settle down. Next job. That was loud, wasn't it? Oh, that was a pot here. We're gonna put some wood chips in here, soak them for about half an hour, 45 minutes before we put them on the smoker. And here's me wood chips. Apple flavor, baby. That's right. I'm gonna shove a load of those into there. Here, look. Apple, wood chips, in, done. Water on wood chips. Doing it now, sinks here, you just can't see it. Little bit more water. Bosh, done. A few more wood chips. Done, look. Oh, you saw a little bit of my dirty apartment then as well. There you go. So we're gonna leave those in for well, about half an hour, 45 minutes. I don't know, whatever, we're just gonna soak them up. That's it, job done. And that's gonna give our fish nice apple flavor. Well, they say so anyway. There you go, right, coffee time. Look at that. They are ready to go. So we're gonna put those hot damn things into this and then get our smoker ready. Good, eh? Right, let's do that. Right, coals in, we're gonna build up the smoker and we're gonna let that get up to temperature. Oh, it's very exciting, isn't it? I'm excited. Look at the view. Oh, I should just point this out. This um, was a Christmas tree I made out of driftwood. Unfortunately, in a storm, it's kind of slightly fallen down. So it's, um, it's a fallen over Christmas tree made out of driftwood. Good though, isn't it? And I did say, explain these. 
This is my rabbit cage, or a little run around, and these are some ghouls that my daughter made to protect her from the evil rabbit monster. Mmm, rabbit's not very friendly to be fair though. Right, let's get smoking. Very important temperature gauge, very important. So, wood chips. I'm gonna put some of these wood chips now, a couple of places. So what I've done there is I've put the soaked wood chips with some of the water, as you can see, in there. And that'll just slowly, as that or the water boils and evaporates, then they'll start to cook and then you'll get the smoke from them. And then I'm gonna put the rest of these directly on the charcoal. And then, another couple of minutes, and we'll be good to smoke. Cool, right. Look at that baby, smoking. Nice. Right, let's check the temperature. Woo! It's doing all right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some oil on that grate and then we're gonna get the fish because it's almost ready to go. Woo, very exciting. Only another three hours to go. Hello, so smoker's ready to go. You can get the fish out of the fridge and then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of black pepper because that's how I like it and then we're gonna shove it on the smoker. This smoking's fun, isn't it? Are you having fun? If you are having fun, comment below. And if you want me to smoke something else, whatever it is, sausage, ribs, um, can do vegetables for you vegetarians out there, no problem at all, then just comment below what you want me to smoke next. Cool, right, let's get the fish on. Ooh, smoky, baby. Check those bad boys out. Right. Leave them for an hour and we'll come back. Oh, but make sure you put the lid on. There it is. Smoking fish, baby. Smoke away. And now, relax.
Right everyone, Farmer Shark here. Here's a smoker, but while that's going on, I thought I'd show you around my garden. So this here is a coconut tree. Look, you can tell that, because there's a coconut there, and that's growing up. And right next to it, which is hard to see, but this one here, this is a Thai orange plant. That's right. There's an orchid there. I don't really like orchids, but someone gave it to me, so I have to have it. This here, look. That's a papaya tree. You can tell that because there's a papaya there. Here's my lily pond, look. Nice lily out, look, look at it. Lovely that. This here is interesting, this one. This is pomegranate. That's right. It's a palmy, and, it, and look, you can tell because I just see if I get right in, look, there you go. There's some little pomegranates coming there. It's exciting, isn't it? Look, there's a couple more in there as well. Oh, wow, that's very exciting. And here, look. Now let me get out of it. Here's my pineapples. One, two, two pineapples there, look. Now these pineapples, they were grown from tops. And if you'd like me to show you how to do that, you can just comment on this video, this smoking video, and then we can do that for you. Show you how to make a pineapple from the top of a pineapple. This one here, aloe vera. I don't know what this is. This is growing out my aloe vera plant. In here, this, right here, that's gonna be passion fruit, that one. The interesting this, isn't it? You came to watch Smoking Fish, and I'm showing you my garden. Right, this one here, this tall one here with a massive spike, look at that spike. That there, that's a pomelo. That's right, it's from the grapefruit family, but it's called a pomelo, massive spikes. Here, this is my pride and joy, this one. This one here is avocado, that's right. I grew this avocado from seed, I did. Very proud of my avocado. This one here, a friend gave to me, and I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to double check and let you know. And in here is me rabbit, Terry. Hello, Terry. She's lovely, but she's a bit vicious. I'll show you how vicious she is. I open up the cage and say, hello, Terry. See, she doesn't like me. See you, Terry. And I'll take you around the corner here, look. You don't want to see the bins. But there here is more papaya, look. Look at those papaya there. There's some big juicy ones there. I tell you what, you like a big juicy one, don't you, eh? All these papayas here were grown from seeds. So I took out the seeds from the papaya. And once again, if you want to see how to do it, I'll show you on a little video. Just comment below. And look. Ready, you see my towels there? That's not the best view in the world, is it? But here, this is my compost, look. And that's where I put the ash from the last smoke in there. There's some old food in there rotting away. It stinks, to be fair. I've not just got one compost. Oh, no, 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 no. Looky here. I got three. This is another one. Look at that. That's looking good, that one. And then this is my final one. Look, a bit of water from last night. Pull that in there. That's rotting down, some snails in there. Lovely, isn't it? Look at the papaya tree, look, that's a big one. Goes right up there, look. Like a big one, don't you? There you go, everyone. That is my garden. Nice, eh? Right, let's get back to smoke. That, that's not my Heineken, just to point that out. And other beers are available. There he is. This, my pride and joy. My avocado. So, this is Terry. Say hello, Terry. Sniff, sniff. There you go. Terry is my rabbit, and she's lovely. Although she does get a little bit aggressive sometimes. Now she was in her little hutch earlier, and now she's outside in the pen because the sun's gone down, so she can come out. And look, this is her little. She's been digging a little hole here, digging in my little garden. Bless her. Anyway, there you go. Oh, where's she gone? Oh, she's hiding away. Look, there you are. Say goodbye, Terry. Ah, oh, good day, Jay. Is the fish ready yet? Ah, oh. hi, Sean. Um, uh, no, no, no. It won't be ready about another hour and a half. Ah, okay. Thanks. Sure. Um, why are you in my apartment? 
very odd. Huh. Oh well. Right, it's been about half an hour or so. Let's have a quick look. Look at that. Tell you what, they're looking good. They're looking really good. All right, back to coffee. Nice day for smoking. Look at it. Right, we're about or just over an hour in. Still smoking away, look. Beautiful. Let's check out the fish. Whoa. Look at that. They are looking good. Right. Come on, check those in about half an hour or so because they're close. Nice. Right, about an hour and a half in now. Look at them bad boys. Oh, wow. They are looking awesome. Mm. Another 20 minutes or so, they'll be done. Right, it's been about an hour and a half, I guess, ish. And let's have a little look. Oh. <gasps> Check out those bad boys. Wow. They look amazing. Done. Right, let's get them off and get them in the kitchen. <gasps> I'm a chef and I didn't even know it. Wow. Good job, me. Yummy. Check out my fish, baby. That is an hour and a half-ish smoked mackerel. Oh yeah. Time to have a little taste. Right, time to taste. Just look at the skin, look at that, look at that. Homemade smoked mackerel. Damn Jay, you're good. That is yummy. And that is a ridiculous dance when something's yummy. I have no idea why I just did that. Wow, that's really good. Well done me, right. I shouldn't talk in my mouthful. That's what I tell my kids all the time. Um, hold on. Thank you for watching. Right, I'm only gonna keep a couple of these fish and the rest I'm gonna take to the Five Star Marine Towers tomorrow. And well, I say tomorrow, you're gonna see it probably in about 10 seconds time. But for me, it will be tomorrow. So I dropped my fish off at the Five Star Marine Towers and thank you to the team at Living Waters who are working morning, noon and night, continuing to help feed those in Phuket who are still suffering. The fish I smoked might not feed the 5,000, but when many people do something small, it adds up to something big. So please do what you can to help those who are less fortunate than us. Thanks Living Waters, you guys rock.